Hey, welcome. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step how you can create and also install Facebook or Meta Pixel in 2024. And I'll also share with you how you can set up your event. Okay, so let's get started. Now, this is a new account. I'll be using this to show you how you can create your Pixel. So, the first thing you want to do is log into your ads manager. Now, in case you do not know, Pixel is what facebook uses to track people's action and activities on your website so for example let's say you are running an advert on a store or let's say a website or you are generating leads so it is a pixel that allows facebook know okay this action has been taken all right so let's get into it go to all tools and then event manager then click on connect data okay now this looks like a new update you cannot create a pixel on a personal ad account now it's telling me you must have a business manager account okay so let me just walk you through how you can create the business manager account so go to business.facebook.com forward slash create and uh, you should be redirected to this page then click on create account I'll just call this Sam and my email address. I'll use this. Then you get this email notification. Confirm now. Okay. Once you are done creating the account, just switch to the business account. Now let's connect data. You can see it is possible to click or select uh, the web. Now click on next. I'll just name this Sam BZ. I'm just giving ten name i can rename it anytime once you create your pixel that's all i'll close this then i'll refresh my browser as you can see the pixel is now created now you don't need to do too much all you need to do now is copy this pixel id and i'll show you how you can install the pixel id on your website just before we proceed to installing the pixel let's check if there is any pixel currently on the website or not so we'll be using this chrome extension called the meta pixel helper so if you do not have it just search meta pixel helper chrome extension on google i think it is also available on microsoft edge anyways you will see install extension something like that now once you install it go to this particular place and pin it at the top bar now we have it here Okay, so this is the website. Let's see. Now you can see it says no pixel found on the website. Now let's proceed to installing the pixel. Now we'll be using a particular plugin on WordPress called Pixel Your Site. So go to plugins, add new plugin. So I'm assuming you are using a WordPress website. Then paste Pixel Your Site. Install this first one. You can see by pixel your site click on install now then activate as you can see we have the pixel your site on the left navigation bar then click on dashboard now, as you can see this is the pixel id so just copy it and let's paste here so you need to do is click and paste that's all once you are done just click on save settings let's check this again you can see for now it's saying no pixel still so let's refresh now let's see can you see the pixel is now active this is the pixel id 171 ends with 973 let's confirm 171 ends with 973 and that is it we have our pixel installed now these are events this sales page view 20 seconds i will show you how you can set up that as well so to set that up just go to your pixel your site dashboard now in case you are logged in as an admin on your website and is not showing your website is being tracked what you can do is use another browser to check using meta pixel helper if it is installed or not or log out as an admin on your current website so you can be sure that it's worked meanwhile you can also use it to install google analytics 
pinterest tag google ad tag and even tiktok tag although those ones are paid add-ons all right so let's go to event click on add so i'll just call this thank you guys you can name it whatever it could be purchase it could be thank you page so i'm doing this let's assume i run an e-commerce or i'm selling something so anybody that lands on this page facebook will register them as a customer right so we most times call it thank you page before facebook can track an event there is need for a trigger so there are different triggers so there is a page visit which means when someone lands on a particular page which you specify then the person is registered for that event so just see events as activity now there are other options here all right but then we are using the free version so we'll just focus on the page visit now we delay seconds so if you want to delay for a few seconds let's say when someone lands before facebook records that okay this is this person is your web page visitor this person has taken this action you want to wait for some seconds and also you can decide to turn on this fire this event only once in 24 hours or specify the hours but this is a pro feature if you are seeing facebook recording multiple or excess conversions but then it, it does not tally with what your facebook ads campaign dashboard is showing you can turn this on so it will not record multiple times now url content so let's say whenever someone buys or purchase something on your website through a funnel they are redirected to a page called adelicasign.com forward slash purchase you can give it any name depending on the page url so it means when you land on this page you are a customer and facebook will be able to track you now once you are done with that you can also add you can see add another url now we'll click on facebook to enable on facebook one thing is installing the pixel another thing is setting up or tracking event so what you are currently doing now is tracking event so in a situation whereby you are, you are using pixel site plugin to track both facebook pixel google analytics uh, pixel and all of that so you need to specify here now event type for example if someone is redirected to the page that means you have captured their email you could use lead right but if it's a purchase you use uh purchase so there are different options here add to cart view content subscribe complete registration submit application and all of that now you can also add more parameters parameter like let's say the currency in which you are selling you can use usd but then if your currency is not here you can use custom currency then you have ngn but let me just use usd and maybe the value of what they are buying is 50 dollar or the value of the customer you can also enter some other things here but they are not necessary now once you are done you click on save event all right so let's do something here now i can decide to also disable this particular event you can also duplicate it so i'll duplicate this and uh, i'll enable now remember it was only showing a pixel was installed before now let's check again you can see it is not just showing page view it is also showing a purchase was recorded now when you see this green check it means you have successfully installed your pixel and also successfully installed your purchase event so you can see the currency that we set here was usd and the value is what 50 they are both correct and accurate easy peasy now you can run your advert now one more thing just before we end this particular tutorial i just show you how you can set up a pixel and also set up the events that you want to track but let's say you are using woocommerce for example woocommerce as your e-commerce plugin you will see a new tab called woocommerce so instead of doing those things manually because you know purchase does not really have a dedicated page if you are using a uh, woocommerce like purchase add to cart initiate checkout they are not really pages they are more of actions right with picture your site you can as well track all of those actions all you need to do is uh, just have woocommerce installed and you will see track purchases turn it on 
have these buttons toggled on basically that is it they have more features but then i think these are the ones you will need and uh, you are good to go now one more thing i would also like to share with you is the conversion api now conversion api is just another way facebook uses to track events on your website from the server side not from the browser side i'm not going into the technicalities but you can also try having the conversion api on to do that go back to your event click on the pixel that you are using and go to settings then scroll down to where you have you can see the conversions api scroll down to where you have generate access tokens so the essence of using pixel your site is to is to avoid playing with codes and all of that now i'll just copy the token that was generated and go back to your pixel your site then paste and that is it now you can save setting this is the a b c to z of creating your pixel installing the pixel and then setting up your event that you want to track i hope you found this particular tutorial helpful if yes do well to like it share with your friends drop a comment please i'm begging drop a comment on this video if it helped you okay so that'll be all for now and if you are looking to learn facebook ads from scratch go get my facebook ads course go to adelikesamen.com forward slash facebook dash ads okay guys so that'll be all for now and i will see you in my next video bye for now